Hi guys, welcome to another Game Boys or Awesome video. So today guys, in the season of episode of the car boot, in this episode 78, which is awesome. So 78 is finally here. As I said, I did try and get another one out this month, and I have, so here we go. Another one out for the September. So, hope you guys enjoy this. As you see, and by the thumbnail, you would have probably seen a really awesome find. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm really pleased with finding that. But you guys will see how much I get it for, and all the great stuff. Uh, got lots of cool things in this one, you know, nothing too crazy, but really pleased with finding. Um, yeah, when I went to this car boot, I actually went after I did Doncaster Market, um, selling there. I went straight on there on a Sunday, and I was really happy I went. I wasn't sure about going, but yeah, well worth it, so pretty awesome. But before I get into this, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to a good friend of mine. He just started doing um, a channel for doing his art. Um... He did have a YouTube channel of doing collecting and stuff, but he's slowed down on that now. So now he's headed off on the way of doing like artwork and trying to make sell some bits on and stuff. But you're going to and check him out and check out his work. He's done some really good stuff. He's been doing time lapses at the moment on his channel, um, and he has got an Instagram as well, which I whack up here. And um, please check it out if you want to see anything or just want to just check out what he does. Um, he's just some really cool bits. He's just like a he paints on bits of like wood which has been cut. Like in slices and he paints on those and one of them he's done is really good he's painted a heart which looks so realistic it's really good and it's quite small about that small maybe a bit bigger about that and um yeah they look really good so you want to check him out his name's jake you know instagram i'll put it down here and over there you can see his you know channel or whatever or whatever i put on this video but i put a little video i might have already done it a video there of his doing a little time lapse so yeah please check him out if you have any interest he does some all sorts of bits he's been doing a few gizmo -y, um like gremlins artwork and stuff and drawing at the moment but yeah please do you know he's looking for some extra you know followers and watchers so if you want to check him out please do so right now guys i'm going to throw you the clips um yeah as i said i only did one car boot and the ones i did i was really pleased with because i wasn't sure about going but well worth going and if you guys want to check it out please do and stick by so right i'm afraid of clips for a ramble anymore and i'll see you at the end of the video guys just in a bit how much is this a controller five mate though. five fully working that xbox controller was actually in really nice condition it's like pretty much almost new i probably should have picked it up and traded it into cx for a fiver you know you could have got like 10 pound back for that but I left it for someone else. A couple of minutes. How much are your games? Uh, three pound each. Three pound each. Yes. How much is it? Yes. Uh, Fifteen. That one three pound. Three pound. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I think they never used my son. They never used yeah. them. Okay. So just say I don't like them. Sell him. How much? This camera to have to charge it. How much is the camera? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, it's camera and she made photos as well. Okay. I think my daughter she. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. We have charged them at home before we. Oh right, yeah. The... You take ten for it, or twelve? Oh, yeah, right. yeah. I'll take that and take that and. Uh, it's fifteen, have, yeah. Yeah. Just I have fifteen, yeah. Bag. That's all right. Maybe it's some photos in there. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll delete them off. Yes, yeah. yeah. Just I don't have time to delete them. There you go. Okay. Thank you very thank much. You. So 
This was pretty good. I'm really happy of picking up this, guys. As you see, I've got um, Tony Hawk's 5, which has been a game I've been wanting to get. So, for three quid, definitely happy to pick up that. That's going straight in my collection. I've been playing it recently. It's been really good. And I've got a camera to move on as well for £12, which is awesome. So, can't go wrong. Bit of flog that on. Thank you. Had to mute here as well because these people here have music playing in the background, so I'll probably be talking a bit long here. But as you see, saw them have two pound a game, so I saw here, which is Castlevania, and I do spot another game which I was interested in, which we'll see right in a second. Come on, grab the game. Go we go. Oh, here it is, Tony Hawk's. Tony Hawk's Project Eight for the Xbox 360. I think I may have this game on the PlayStation 2, I'm not sure, so I ended up grabbing it for the Xbox 360 instead. For two quid, I want it as well, you know. Um, I still like playing my 360 every now and again. Um, some good games on that console. Um, there wasn't much else there, I probably could have grabbed some more of those maybe to move on, but I don't really know which Xbox 360 games are actually worth grabbing, but I probably could whip out, you know, the CEX app. But I don't really like doing that in front of people, you know, I'd rather just go with what I actually know, my, my own knowledge of knowing games. So, I may try and look into what 360 games are worth picking up in the future, so. Cheers, Thank you very much. A few games here, nothing really fantastic. Um, There's nothing there that was catching my eye. The ones that I did see, I've already got. And I don't really know if any of these are actually worth even picking up to trade in. So, yeah, usual tires you see, really. <sighs> now, this, guys, this was an insane find. I didn't even think I would find something like this at a car boot. But as you see, I just spotted a NES Mini. A NES Mini at the car boot. So you guys will find out how much the guy's asking for this in a second. Yeah. How much are you asking? 15, mate. Respect 15. to my <laughs> 15 quid. That was just amazing. But I do end up haggling down because I wasn't sure if this was actually fake or real. So you'll find out later if it is or if it's not. So yeah, awesome, awesome little find. Would you, take, would you do ten of them? Twelve or ten? I'll do twelve. Yeah. Yeah. So as you see, he took twelve, which is awesome. I'll pay that any day, and yeah. You'll find out in a bit. I'll, you know, show you in the pickups, like at the end of the video, it working, and um, yeah, so that's all good. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. All day and day, walk off with that. Really happy with picking up that awesome little item. So now I think come across this stall, and this lady has a Furby. I was really interested in picking it up, but it was a bit damaged uh, for the price she's asking for. I wasn't willing to to really have it. Um, but yeah, you'll see how much she's asking. How much is your Furby? Uh, two pound. Two pound. I don't have a screwdriver, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, you do one fifty. Uh, no. No. Okay. Cheers.
How much is this? 50p. 50p? Yeah. yeah. And then you need the battery? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't worry about it. There you go. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Another wicked find here. I just found, as you see, a Tamagotchi for 50p. This is going straight in my collection. I do not find them often, you know. When I do, it's awesome, but it's just weird. Like, they were so popular, but you hardly ever see them. But when I do get them, I get so happy. It's just great to add one into my collection for 50p. Thank you. I'm up to 20p still guys as you see digging through and I found one of these TV teddies um, from the 90s um, yeah for 20p I thought I'd give them a go uh, I don't even have all, all the extra bits as well to actually plug them into their TV and to interact but it's just just a teddy I've got here but for 20p <laughs> How much is how much is it? Two pounds. It goes two pounds. Yeah. One pound. Random board game I spotted. I don't really know what the value of this board game is. I've never seen it before. Um, but yeah, it was, you know, two quid. It looked complete and um, the condition wasn't too bad for its age. So I thought I'd grab it, give it a go. You know, maybe worth something I don't know. So yeah, awesome. Good man. <laughs> is, that, is that any good, that Dragon Slayer? I don't know. I just. Spotted it and looked pretty good, so. Yeah, not much around here today. No, I've got a few things, but yeah. cheers, man. All right. yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. So they're gonna go to a good home, yeah. Yeah. All the colours. I have a big shabba. Wow. <laughs> fish. All the fish. Fish, yeah. Yeah. How much? How much is it? Two fifty. 
this one's quite unique. This one. Yeah. I checked. Maybe I haven't mm. seen that one, but I don't know. The turtles money bank thing, you know, um, I thought was interesting, but I didn't really want it that much for two pound fifty, so I ended up leaving it. How much is your game like? It's, it's not the Bluetooth one. Okay. What about the Walkman? Twenty to thirty pound. Five, five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Old, old one. What you got now? How much is that? That one's going to be 10. 10. It's got two headphone jacks on it and I think it takes right. different batteries. Yeah. Have a look at it. Yeah, I'll look at it. You need a bag. Sure. All next bag? Um, do you know if it works? Yeah. It takes four. Yeah. More power. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, sure. You do any less than ten? No, just go online and see this one. This is because it's this one is old, old, old. Okay. Not even the first. Uh, go on, I'll give it a go. Um, Oops. You nearly broke your ankle falling over my box. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I, I like to collect them, so it's nice to get in the old Sony. You go and buy some batches now, you see. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Cheers. That Sony Walkman cassette player um, does fully work, guys. This is nice. Um, yeah, the only sad thing about it, uh, I went to clean it up and um yeah like the hinge ended up breaking off it which is a bit annoying but yeah i've kept it for now um it's still worth it for 10 quid it still works I just need to put it back together and that and it's on the shelf at the moment with all my other little walkman bits but yeah not bad for a tenner um it will be worth about it's time for the pickups now let's jump into the pickups and see what i got yeah boy hi guys welcome to the pickups so today i went to the car boot and actually the camera working today which is good I kind of fixed it, deleted those stuff out, reformatted the card, and it seems to be recording. So, yes, last week you would have not, you know, I did one, tried to video last week stuff, but I did a pickup video instead, so we'll upload that soon, and then hopefully this will be out. So, yeah, I got some okay things. Um, I wasn't really wanting to buy a lot, but I spent quite a bit today, but on some good items. So, yeah, first thing I'm going to show you, I've got a board game, which is dragon slayer um that was two quid box is a bit better but it's from 1981 which is crazy so yeah two pound i think it may be complete because i opened it up and it's got a little book with it must be for the for it i don't know i don't know what the hell that is random book inside it maybe that's not for it dragon something that's in it but it's got all the little pieces in these old little map boxes so yeah hopefully every piece is in them and then uh, yeah it's got the manuals got the board fingers crossed guys fingers crossed i thought i'll grab it for two quid i've already messaged rich Kinerache. um i'm not sure if he has it but yeah i'll wait for him to come back to me for yeah help him out if he needs it because i don't want it um so yeah he probably has got it he's got so many board games but yeah let's see what else i've got 
picked this for 20p. This is the TV Teddy, which is actually um, pretty old. Uh, some 1993. Hopefully it's not corroded inside, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Um, but fingers crossed it's not. Um, just to look. It's made by Toby. Toby. Um, Toby. I think you want to say Team Toby. But I'm trying to get like this Velcro bit here up a bit more because it won't stay down. So I'm going to push it in a bit more. Pull him up. Will it let me Velcro him back down? But for some reason it won't let me Velcro him. Which I meant to be higher up. I don't know. But it won't let me Velcro him. Or it won't stay. There we go. Meant to be like that. But yeah, got him. He's really heavy, so I'm not sure what he used to do, but I think he pressed buttons or he did something. But yeah, he was cool for 20p. Um, I got, uh, I think it's legit, I don't know, it looks it, yep, I paid 12 quid for this, and it is, um, I don't know, if it, it could be fake, I don't know, I'm not sure, um, yeah, it looks seems official, but I got myself the NES Mini, um, which was, £12 which I thought was pretty cool so I haven't got this one and I thought yeah I'll have that fingers crossed it works um, it seems legit but um, yeah there's mini start button and the pad and the pad is pretty nice with all the bits at the back so yeah fingers crossed this is it this is the legit and uh, even if it's not it's still a cool piece for 12 quid I'm happy to have that um, I paid 10 pound for this this is an old um, Walkman and yeah it had loads of them in there and it seemed like it was all right you know it starts you know all the things are moving Still got grease and stuff on them. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it seems pretty cool. It's got a bit of corrosion inside, which I could, I think I can clean up. So I just need to maybe take it apart, give some of the being contacts a bit of a clean. But it is a really nice vintage uh, cassette cassette player or Walkman. So heavy as hell. So yeah, I was really interested, really cool like, having that. Um, what got, what messes, but Richard just asked me for a pick, so I'll send him a pick in a minute. Uh, I've got some cool things there, I've got some stuff I actually wanted. So I've got this for £3, which is really good. Um, really happy with this. So yeah, I got Tony Hawk's finally, Tony Hawk's 5, I'm definitely playing that tonight. Uh, I've been wanting to play it, so yeah, Tony Hawk's 5 for 3 quid. Last time I saw it at Carpet, I wanted a fiver, uh, but I thought 3 quid is, yeah, I'm, I'm happy paying that. It was a bit glitchy when it first came out. I got um, Castlevania uh, for £2, which is pretty uh, good, it's all complete. This is all good, so that's wicked. Castlevania. I got Tony Hawk's um, Pro Project 8 for the, for the 360 because I've already on, I've already got it on the PlayStation 2 I think. I thought I'll get it on the 360 so not too bad. And then I got myself a camera again. I keep buying cameras but Sony cameras are just so you know desirable at the moment by people collectors um this is actually fully working she told me it showed me it worked it's, it's quite battered but i got it for for 12 quid it's got the battery and everything in there uh, oh it's still 
Not so it's still turn on, is it? No. It's got um memory card, one gig. Um turn it off, turn it on or sorry. Turns on. That's really cool like design and stuff. I'm not sure what else you can do. Does it, does it take like tapes as well? It's got like a little window, a door that opens up. Ejects. I think it takes like a mini cassette. I'm really not sure. Like, okay. There we go. Many little uh, cassette things it takes. So that's wicked. It's a quite nice one. So I'm not sure what the video would be like on it. But uh, turn it on. So, so look, I did view stuff on this. Well, I'm going to put it away for now because I'm going to be here for ages. Right. So I'm put that down. It's covered with the dock and all that, which is good. I think it allows it so it, you can connect to the TV and whatever. I think. Um, and then last but not least, I picked myself up, which is a wicked. Uh, it's been so long since I picked up a Tamagotchi from the car booth and the proper Tamagotchi. I've been picking up Alicia's virtual pets. I've actually found a Tamagotchi and this is going to be in my collection because I'm, I'm collecting like the cooler designs. Most of the pink ones and stuff I've got, I've got rid of because I'm not really wanting like the girly quarter colours. So this is a really cool one. 50p, I couldn't believe it. So really happy to have that. That is going straight into my, uh, t um, you know, cabinet, display wall cabinet, which is wicked. So yeah, really happy. So that's awesome. It's always great when you find something that you can add to your collection and you get it for 50p and, or even cheaper or whatever. It's just, it's wicked. So yeah. And that came with a plug as well for that um, NES. So. Yeah, I spent quite a bit, but I think I've got bargain prices. So, thanks you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As you see, got some pretty cool things. Um, yeah, really pleased with going. Got some nice games, a virtual pet or a Tamagotchi, and I got a NES Mini, which is actually legit. I wasn't sure if it was real, but yes, it's real, which is like, oh, uh, awesome. Um, I'll show you it working in a minute. But yeah, I've got this. But you see, this does work. I've tested it with a new battery. I just haven't put one in at the moment. So this I got for 50p, which is awesome. It's going straight into the collection because it's actually a nice, nice looking one too. And the NES Mini. Wow. I didn't think to get one for 12 quid ever at the car boot. And for not having been out that long, either have they? They only come out like last, was it not last year, but the year before, something like that? I can't remember. And yeah, wow. Wicked. Um, let me just turn it on try and get it on the TV and hopefully I can show you it working uh, let me just move my camera over so hopefully I can make it tasty I just want to, uh, right hello hello right so there's my TV I don't know if it's gonna be long enough hold on one second guys so right guys, there we go. I'm gonna press the button as you see my NES minis, my uh, NES minis here, all plugged up, ready to go. Uh, turn it on, and it should hopefully load up. There we go. There we go. Which is awesome. So yeah, fully working. So that's awesome. Shutting down. It it does work. I just haven't. Got the controller out, so yeah, that's my NES Mini, and for some reason it keeps going out of focus. 
and yeah so I don't know why it's going out of focus but here we go back in action so there we go guys I just seen just a quick little show of it working it turns on plays and everything um, I don't want to leave on too long just in case it's going to get copyright you know Nintendo are insane of copywriting people I don't want to have that on my channel um, but yeah I've got myself a nice brew even though it's not a brew it's a fucking cider so um, that is pretty cool like to find a NES at the car boot a NES mini I didn't think I ever find one of those and it has the controller I don't think it didn't have was the HDMI I had the um, power cable um, no box but it wanted 15 I probably should have paid 15 for it but I thought I'd give him a haggle, get him down to 10, because I was not sure. It could have been fake. If it was fake, I would have well pissed. But it was worth a risk for 12 quid, and the risk was worth it because it actually is, le actually is legit. So really pleased with that. Um, what else? Well, I can't remember what else I found on this. I know I've got a couple of games, like um, some Xbox 360 games I got. Um, but, yeah, this video is a little while back, as you well know. Uh, when I went to Doncaster, that was a while back. So that's it so please you know give it a thumbs up if you like the video please give me a, a comment whatever you want to say i'll, I'll surely get back to you soon and uh, yeah give me a sub if you really want to see more of this sort of videos i you know i've been doing these for a long time now and most of you people who are on my channel are waiting for a new one of these videos so if you want to you know be surely known when a new one's out subscribe or even go to my facebook page and i always announce when i get one up um so thank you guys anyway uh i always love your support on my channel it's it's great you know the amount of likes i've been getting is insane um and my last one's got mentally likes so like almost like uh was it 80 likes which is insane um so thanks a lot guys for all that and um yeah i'll see you in the next one i'll try and get another one out maybe next week if i can um yeah, I'll try and squeeze some more out, try and get them out. I've got lots to show. I've still got memory card full of episodes I could make. So, yeah, I just need to sit down, relax, and just edit those videos and get them out for you guys to enjoy. And, uh, yeah, I enjoy doing it anyway. So, right, that's time to go now. So, bye, guys. Thanks a lot for supporting my channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.